Hey everyone, welcome to uh, my first episode of Dishing Up Durham. So, just a quick note, all of these videos, I'm sort of writing, producing, editing, <laughs> uh, filming, and I'm doing it all from my phone. So there might be a little bit of a learning curve, uh, but really in 2021, what I wanna do is focus on getting you guys some awesome food content and uh, showing off some amazing products here from Durham Region that in 2020, I had the pleasure of sort of stumbling upon during the first lockdown. And since we're in lockdown again, I figured uh, why not start 2021 off with a cocktail. So uh, our first feature find of Dishing Up Durham is Villa Vida Loca's Vanilla Bean Honey. This stuff, <laughs> I honestly can't describe it. Uh, Ann and Brian, who own Villa Vida Loca, do such an amazing job. Uh, and they have uh, all their own bees, they craft all their own honey, and they have some really incredible flavors. You could get like chocolate, bourbon, vanilla. Um, this one is the vanilla bean. Um, you, they have a three chili honey, a whole bunch of stuff. Check them out online and have a little look. Uh, but what I'm gonna do today, like I said, we're gonna start off with a cocktail. So nice, smooth sailing, really easy recipe. And uh, all we're doing, I've made a simple syrup with the honey. So I did a third of a cup honey, third of a cup water in a small sauce pot, bring it up to a simmer. Once it's simmering, drop in four sprigs of thyme and then uh, let that simmer for a couple minutes, take it off of the heat. And after about 10 minutes, remove the thyme so it doesn't become too strong or overpowering and then just cool it completely. That's all the cooking for this one. All right, that's all you're gonna have to be doing. And then once it's chilled completely, we're ready to make a cocktail. So to a cocktail shaker, which mine broke, so, and we're in lockdown. Uh, so I'm just using a thermos cup filled with ice. It's done the trick pretty well though, so I can't complain. And again, we're doing one ounce of the simple syrup. All right, one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. But you could also play around here too. Like I think orange would work really great. So that's, you know, little recommendation. And then we're going an ounce and a half of whiskey. So I put rye in the recipe, but I think you could really play around here. Uh, scotch would be interesting. Uh, smokiness would add some complexity to it, right? I think bourbon would work really great. And yeah, an ounce and a half. This is a cocktail. And after the year we all had, let's go for it. All right. I'm using Collingwood. I really like this whiskey. It's a blended whiskey. Uh, and I find it works really great in this, in this cocktail. Okay, we're gonna give that a shake. Okay, once it's all shaken, we're going to, I have a rock glass here filled with ice. I'm gonna pour that over top. And you'll see from that really good shake, the honey kind of froths up a little bit. And the great thing, using Ann and Brian's honey, you can see the little specks from the vanilla bean right in the cocktail. And then to finish that off for garnish, lemon wedge or wheel, You know, and then maybe one or two sprigs of thyme. Just to tuck those in. With your lemon. And there's your cocktail. And I'm calling this one the Vanilla Bean Buzz. Damn. Honestly, you guys have to try this. So simple, uh, featuring an amazing local product and extremely delicious. So I know a lot of you uh, that may be following aren't necessarily from Durham region. So 
if you don't have access to these ingredients that I'm featuring, I encourage you to kind of get out into your own community and I'm sure wherever you're following along from, uh, there's gotta be someone around you who makes a really nice honey. And then go ahead and try crafting up a cocktail like this and experimenting with different flavors. Um, for those of you who are in Durham, check out Villa Vida Loca. Make sure you get their vanilla bean honey, all right? Because it works perfect in this cocktail. And then what I want you to do, if you're following along and you're making these recipes, take a picture of it, put it either on your story or post on your grid on Instagram and hashtag it dishing up Durham. So that's hashtag dishing up Durham. Nobody else is using that hashtag, so it's all ours. So we can all kind of follow along and see what we're creating as the year unfolds. So this is the first recipe that I've done uh, with the Villa Vida Loca honey. Next week, or sorry, at the end of this week, I'll be providing you with another recipe that's gonna involve some actual cooking. Cheers. <laughs>